Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh boy, somebody does not know. They don't they don't know what they're they don't know what to do. Um I, you know, I'm getting the sense out here that <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm hearing somebody's family just on top of this person. Like, what have you done? What? Bring back the collective. We want the collective back. That's what I'm hearing. Bring back the collective. And this person's like, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how to bring back the collective, okay? I don't know what to do. I feel like there's family I, I don't know why I'm getting the sense that it's family around this person that are shooting comments at this person like, what were you thinking? What were you doing? We want the collective back. Okay? What were, what, well, how could you have treated the collective the way that you did? You know, um, I feel like people are starting to really put this person under a lot of pressure. They're just feeling like, I'm feeling that pressure. People just breathing down this person's neck because of how they treated you. Um, they're talking about how good you were, okay? Whoever is talking at this person, and they're talking at them because your person is like, you know, they're trying to defend themselves and they don't have a defense, okay? They don't want to hear it. They already know. They know they, they screwed things up with you in the past and they don't know how to fix it now. I'm literally hearing pe like family members, right? How could you have done this to the collective? They were so sweet. They were so honest. This person would have never hurt you. You know, they were, they gave you good love, you know, that kind of thing, right? Um, and I, yeah, this person's like, I don't know how to get them back. Yeah, I'm hearing family members. I don't know why I'm sensing family members here. Um, I feel like they've been, they've been studying you. They've been watching you. Um, they may even, I, I don't know, I, somebody could be pregnant out here, maybe. There could be, this could be the father of your children, that kind of thing, okay? So there could be children involved. Yeah, their family is like, the collective was an angel. What were you doing? You know, I, I feel like there's multiple people watching you here. We've got two people watching you. Um, everybody's being enlightened. I, I feel like this person's, it's either their family or their friends, but I'm feeling heavy. It's family. Um, telling them, why did you do this? We want them back. We want the collective back. There may be a family member of theirs or somebody who comes and talks to you. Okay, somebody could come and, and say something to you. I feel you're being watched. Uh, look at, look, you're being completely studied by, like, it's all around you. Do you sometimes feel like you're being watched? Like every move you make is being watched. Okay, literally, every move you make is being watched, collective, okay? But I feel like it's this person's family, like we've got maybe a, a sister or a brother of this person over here watching you, maybe even their father figure um, watching you. This person is watching you. Everybody is watching you, okay? And I feel like you're being vindicated here. That's what I'm feeling like. Because you know what? Whoever you were with, I feel like they were just freaking mean. You know, that's what I'm hearing. You're just, um, who, who, where am I getting that from? You're just a mean person. Who said that? It's, it's from a movie. I don't, I don't know who, um, what movie it's from, though. Um, but there's been a lot of talk about you behind your back, a lot of betrayal. Um, maybe your, their, this person's family didn't like you or were mean to you at one point, but now they all want you back. They want you. They want you guys back together. And your person's getting a lot of pressure, and all of these people are watching you. And I feel like behind the scenes, you may not know it, collective, because you're out here doing your own thing. Okay, 
you may not know this, but you are being vindicated here. Whatever was said about you behind your back, it's not true. Okay, and I feel like your person, they're feeling that pressure, they're, they're being pressured to come in and talk to you. They're starting to get angry, frustrated. I feel the frustration off of this person. Um, I've got a whole family of swords out here watching you, okay? So, yeah, I, I feel like um, people's opinions of you are changing. Um, they're seeing the light collective, and they're seeing that... You know, when you guys were together, you were happy. This person was happier. And that's why their family is like, you know, you were happy when you were with this with, with this earth angel. What were you thinking? You know what I mean? That's vindication right there. You may not be around to see it, but it's, it's happening. You're getting vindicated. Um... Yeah, all of this whole... It's, it's almost as if this whole family is watching you. Somebody from this family is going to come towards you, okay? Maybe it's this person, yeah. I feel like your person, this is what I'm sensing here. The tower comes down um, because everybody won't leave this person alone. It's like they just want to be left alone, okay? They don't want to hear it because they're frustrated too. They don't know how to get you back. They don't know. They're like, I know I was happy with the collective, but I don't know how to get them back after all that's been done. I feel like the whole dang family was in on it, treating you like crap. I just feel like there was a bunch of mean, harsh, cold people that just treated you like crap. And now they all want you back. All of them. They want you back with this person. They want you back in the family. Everything was better with the earth angel involved. And that's why I feel like you're getting vindicated now. Um, yeah. And this, the, your person under so much pressure, I just really feel like, um, oh, here, this person's coming out with a knight of wands. I feel like I feel like they're not a player in this energy, though. I'm not picking up player energy. I'm picking up somebody who wants to come in very passionately, very quickly, and try to get this new beginning. Yeah, they're gonna try to schmooze you. You know, um, they've been doing a lot of thinking about this. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, possibly a Leo. It's like we have a whole family of air signs out here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Sagittarius, a Libra. I've got a little bit of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn out here, and Scorpio so far. But yeah, I feel like this person's going to try to come in and do everything that they can, right? Uh, the, this, the, the King of Wands, they go after what they want with a passion, and they don't stop until they get it. And I feel like this person wants to come in. They're frustrated. Um, or this is another family member who's frustrated at the situation. I, I feel like everybody in that family was mean and harsh and cold to you. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like they're all watching you. They're all talking about you. They're all talking to this person about you, um, giving them a hard time, you know. This person could do things that are very impulsive. Uh, they could be very good looking as well, you know, just to, as a confirmation for someone. There's a, a possibly a, even a father figure or something over here that could be like... Um, in, in law enforcement or something, you know. I don't know. That may be a confirmation. They could have a, a, a brother and a sister that may want to talk. Um, yeah, this person's going to, what did I say? They're going to do everything that they can to get another chance with you. They're going to do everything that they can. Clarify this magician for the collective. <laughs> Yeah, so you got a whole family, uh, the sword family wants you back, okay? 
All right, the people who are mean to you, the mean family wants you back. They want you back together. Things that things were so much better, and this person was so much happier with you in their life. And you were an angel. They're seeing this now. Total vindication, man. Uh, I feel like if if your person from your past, if they lied to the, their family about you, backstabbed you, told little stories and lies about you, then you know you know how people will do. Well, it's their fault. It's the collective's fault. The collective did this. The collective was like that. You know what I mean? They'll try to um, make themselves look better, like they didn't do anything wrong and it was all your fault. They project, right? If they did that, they've got another family member here who's mad. I feel like the, there could be family members that are angry because they can see the truth for some uh, somehow they know the truth about you, that you were honest you were innocent. You made this person happy. You were an angel. Okay, you're getting vindicated here somehow. All right? Somehow. Clarify this magician for the collective. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, man. I feel like in the past, this person, like I said, they were very immature. They may have even breadcrumbed you, didn't, like, they could have given to other people and not you. Um, they could have chose someone else and left you sitting here empty-handed, that kind of thing. You could have been committed with this person in the past. Not necessarily, though. And I feel like they just, they spread a lot of gossip about you. They talked about you behind your back. And I feel like it was all immature uh, more than likely, it was a bunch of lies because now their whole family now wants you back in. And they walked away here from somebody who was beautiful. It's almost like you made everything beautiful. You know, um, you have this peaceful, gorgeous, beautiful energy. Very peaceful, very healing. You were this person's healer. Um, you're very spiritual. You're an empath. And I feel like this person spread a bunch of crap about you, projected their own weaknesses onto you, made it look like everything was your fault. Take it however it resonates with you. They, they insulted you behind your back. They spread gossip about you behind your back. They trash talked you. The family was in on it. This is the mean family here. I feel like everybody in the family was mean to you. And you know what? I feel like you were nothing but loving and nurturing to these people. And they see it now. They see it. And I feel like, um, honestly, I don't know if this is your feel. Your emotions are theirs. Um, somebody here walked away. I feel like you walked away from empty cups. I feel like. I feel like this is your energy. You walked away and you've been more at peace ever since because these people were mean, harsh, and cold to you. Not just to your face, but behind your back. And I feel like they nobody in the family gave you any love. No one in this family gave you love and now they all want you back. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and apologize to you. Whoever didn't give you love in the past, right? The, the King of Cups, they may have love for you, but they don't show you anything. They don't tell you how they feel. I feel like it was just really a cold situation for you, okay? But now they want you back, okay? Yeah, we got the whole dang family fighting over you, okay? We do. We got the whole family fighting, You know, now this person, this could have been, um, this could have been a commitment. You could have been committed to this person in the past. They want it back. I feel like everything has been crumbling down in their, in their life since you, since you left their life. But they didn't give you any love in the past. None of them did. I mean, we've got eight family members here, eight people who didn't show you any love. And out here, 
We've got five people in this picture. We've got your person is one, brother and sister, that's two, three, four, and, and, and one extra would make five. So yeah, we got the whole family fighting. Um, coming at your person, right, with all their opinions. What were you thinking? You got to get the collective back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? But you walked away because no one in the family showed you any love, including the person you were with. And now they're coming in to get you back. They want to make something solid here. They, they, uh, this person, uh, they may even want a commitment, okay? If you didn't already have one. But they, they want you back, collective. They're, this person that showed you no love in the past, they want to come in and apologize. I feel like they can't be burdened with this anymore. Like, seriously, they're, they're burdened because they, they've got the whole family breathing down their neck over you. Um, yeah, this could be your twin flame. It could. Twin flame soulmate connection. You could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. You could be a Gemini. They're looking at this connection now and how good it was when you were together and how bad they treated you. It's it, You know what it feels like? It feels like no matter how nurturing you were, no matter how much you gave, because you're giving to others here, you're, you've got a healing energy. No matter how loving, how kind, how sweet you were, these people never gave you any love, none of them. None of them. You know? And, uh, and your person knows it. I feel like they feel beat up because of all of this. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you look at this, we've got, um, we got seven wands here and nine here, right? Um, I feel like this person's just, they've carried this burden with them. And, and now they feel pretty beat up by all of the opinions that are being shot at them from their family, you know? They're, they're, um, they're getting a lot of grief from their family over this. But that's your vindication, okay? The ones who gave you no love at all. And no matter what you did, it wasn't enough right? No matter how good you were, no matter how innocent you were, no matter how much unconditional love you gave everyone. See, you're all your cups are blooming here and blossoming. All the cups they gave you were empty. Do you see my point? No matter how good you were, no matter how wonderful you were, it was never good enough. This is your vindication. Now all these people want you back. You know? Yeah, your person wants to commit here. I feel like they want to, they, they're ready for a commitment now. They're being pressured. Um, but how do they reach out to you now? See, they don't know. They don't know what to do. They need to confront this. Um, but this is like a toxic family. I got to say, all these swords, this is the mean family, okay? Maybe maybe in the past you would give them your love and be nurturing and kind, and all they did was throw you shade, fight with you, be combative, right? No matter what you did, it was never enough for these people. They never gave you love, just swords, a lot of talk about you. And, yeah, now they all want you back. They all want, yeah, they're all seeing you from a different perspective now. They're seeing you as the empress now. You weren't good enough for this family then, but now you are, right? Now, now you're the empress, and you're moving on. You got new love coming in here. We had this on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. And your person's in a lot of regret, feeling like a fool. You know, because of their impulsive moves, thinking they can put the blame on you for everything under the sun. Everything. And you know what? Now, now that you're stepping out of their life for good, 
they're really feeling this collective. They're really feeling the impact of their actions. So yeah, everything that they said about you is coming right back on them. And that's how it's intended for this person to learn their lesson. Wow. You really dealt with a really um, harsh family situation, whoever you are. Like seriously, I, I, everything you did, whatever, no matter what you did and how, how good you were and how sweet and loving and nurturing you were, it was never enough for these people. Yep. And I feel like there was a lot of talk about you behind your back in this family. I, I feel like they singled you out and they really picked on you. Basically, you know, um, they really did. And you are the empress. Mm. People are seeing things clearly now. And everything that was said about you is being is stuck back into your person. It's, they're getting it now. It's all coming back on them. Yeah. Because you know what? Your yeah, people are seeing now just how loving you were. Loving, kind, nurturing. That's this Queen of Cups MO. That you gave them nothing but the best love they'll ever have. And they put you down for it over and over and over again. And now these people are like, get the collective back. We want the collective back in the family telling you you could be a mother this could be the mother of the family too but I'm seeing that as your energy I gotta say you could be um, a Taurus Virgo Cancer Cancer Pisces Scorpio Aquarius but you're moving on and you know what you're all bossed up um, you're living a, a comfortable life here you've leveled up in your life you're every queen in the deck. Okay, they're not going to find another empress. They're not going to find another earth angel, man. Okay, star energy. And you're moving forward with your life. You're, you're heading towards um, something, a lifestyle that's going to be very abundant. Okay? Yeah. You gave the best love ever, and you know what? This is your vindication. This is the divine teaching these people a, a, a harsh lesson. You know, they really mistreated an earth angel. No matter what you did, it wasn't enough. And now these people, they don't want to let you go. And I feel like you're freeing yourself from the mean people, the mean family, right? You're freeing yourself, and you're moving forward. Um, yeah, and now, look, and your wifey, you, I, I feel like you could have been committed to this person in the past, okay? But they see you as, as, as the wifey now. They want to wife you up now. But they all treated you like total crap before, Okay? feel like somebody wants to come in and um, show you some love here finally, but we don't, you know, I, 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 I like to say we don't know what's in this cup, okay? But I am feeling like an apology, like a big apology is coming your way that they want to change this around. They want to change it around, collective. They, they may not be able to, though. I feel like the door is closed on this person. The last cycle is over. And um, these people are learning a harsh lesson. They all are. They're all a part of it. And whatever was said about you is going right back on them. Okay? You could be in the public eye. Um, whatever you're doing, you're confident. You're strong, you're skilled, you're, you've got this beautiful energy. Yeah, look, they could have had a beautiful, happy family. They could have had happiness, unconditional love with somebody who really just wanted to love them. 
That's it. They could have had it all. You know, it could have been a very happy family had anyone in this family would have treated you the right way. They could have had this with you. You know, ultimate wish fulfillment. Ultimate happiness. If anybody would have treated you decent, right? But every single person in this family treated you really harsh, cold, nasty. It's sad. It's sad. So they could have had wish fulfillment. Now all they can do is sit and wish. That's it. I feel like it's the end to a cycle here with this one. I, I feel like the door is shut on, on this person and the whole entire family and all of the lies and everything is coming to light now. Everybody's seeing you from a new perspective and you are getting vindicated. You're being vindicated in the background, just so you know. Um, let's see what this person has to say. I feel like you guys are moving forward and wherever you're going with your new life, um, it's going to be amazing. Okay. It is. Some of you are even moving away to a new location, a new home, maybe. Yep. I feel bad how I left things between us after all that we've shared. Yep. Yep. It took me a long time to realize that I do love you. I don't know why I didn't learn the first time because I really don't want to be without you. Do you still love me? Ooh, I almost dropped that one. I promise I won't ever break your heart again. Yeah, the, this whole family wants you back. Okay, I heard it loud and clear when I started your reading. The whole family wants you back. You're being vindicated um, with everyone in the mean family, okay? 